All right, we're done. And uh, like I, I keep saying it, but hey, I'm just happy about it. Uh, really cool, interesting. 108 pounds is what it starts out as. This starts out as this. This weighs 30 pounds exactly as it sets. That is 78 pounds of chips. And uh, super cool. And uh, I think we have, um, in order to get this done, so individual programs that, that Brock's been working on that has uh, to make all this, to proof everything all out individually to all end up being like in two programs, or maybe three programs. I think he ended up saying he has a little over 170 individual programs in order to make this head. So that is, you know, like uh, this whole inside pocket area, this, this area here. So over 170 uh, programs just to make this head to get it all proofed out and put it into something there. So uh, as you can see here, so let's start from the water side because this is solid billet, obviously. Turned out of this thing right here. This over there. Um, no water through the deck surface. We'll talk about head bolts here in a second and compare it with a standard LS head. Uh, water goes in here. So, water's gonna come in the front of the head, comes all the way around underneath the exhaust side, cooling the exhaust or the uh, spark plug side of the combustion chamber and the spark plug. It crosses over through these passages here and then goes up to this passage that is above the exhaust port. So there's a complete passage right here above the exhaust port, cooling the top of the exhaust port. That passage then crosses over to this passage this is actually a really cool little deal that we've come up with because that is one of our head studs. So what we've done is we've made like, a, for you LS guys that know what the little barbell looks like that's in for the oil pump, we've made billet O-ring barbell that goes, screws on top of the head stud. After it's all together, the head stud nut is on it. The screws on is double O-ringed top and bottom. So uh, keeps it the water in it and it allows this to become a water passage and a water heat sink right here. Really cool. Then that water goes then from up, up, over, down to the whole inside passages right here. So this comes on the other side of the combustion chamber and underneath the intake port but primarily into the, I'm uh, sorry, not under the in intake port, just comes in between the intake ports and up against the chamber and on deck surface to cool this portion. Then would come out right here through our end plate where we cool the end of the cylinder head. Now this, this pocket is on both sides of the cylinder head. You can see right there, okay? So the heads will go on omnidirectional either, either side. So it still cools the same, but water in, water out so we'll be making our plates right here completely separate uh, system no water transfer transfers through the deck surface so there's never a chance of blowing a head gasket and spraying water all over the track and killing yourself all right now let's take a look at our head bolt situation this is a primary key deal lots of people have billet cylinder heads for ls's uh some probably even have some water jacketed billet cylinder heads uh, whatever, don't care. But what nobody has as of yet that I've seen because nobody's also done the block. We have the block, I already showed you all that. So we're gonna start putting this all together, mocking this all up after we put seats, guides, because I have my great big uh, uh, SMX exhaust guides in here. So this is actually sharing a lot of stuff off the SMX. Uh, so we'll be putting the seats in, guides in, uh, our uh, drag week style. Uh, endurance exhaust valve guide for you know high heat turbo applications so we'll be putting that all together but let's take a look at our head bolts now these head bolts are uh, they're small right now let me turn this around for you they're all half inch head studs but they're small on this side because this is where we fixed her so we just haven't finished drilling the holes all the way through 
the head, all the head bolts are hat washered uh, inside and out, but every one of these is a half inch head stud. Every one is a half inch head stud, just repeating that. Because we wanna look at the standard alternative, every LS, no matter how good somebody's made a, the cylinder head, it flows 6,000 CFM or whatever the fudge they say it flows. Really doesn't matter how good it flows, how much horsepower you can make, if it can't hold a head gasket, period. Doesn't matter how good it is if you can't hold a head gasket. All right, so take a look. Half inch head bolts, half inch head studs. Studs are here too. This little piece of crap right there, don't matter. That, that has no clamping force, it's minuscule, doesn't mean anything. This one out here rarely means anything. It's just a stupid little 3 8 bolt, usually gets torqued around 35 or 40 pounds. Useless, useless. These are the only four that are holding a uh, the typical, well, every LS engine base program except mine. This is what we have, five, or I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. So however you wanna count it, they share it, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, you can see, this is a significantly better clamping area, clamping load than what this is, by far. Plus, it's solid billet, this thing, this head weighs about five pounds more than what this head weighs, the conventional LS7 style cylinder head. Weighs seven or five pounds more because it's all in the deck surface, it's all in the meat, it's all in what makes this cylinder head stronger. Still water jacketed, still cooling. Um, everything down to, uh, look here, uh, O-ringed exhaust ports. Uh, you have real nice machine work, real nice programming through here. Super happy with how things have turned out. Machine works really well. Uh, really getting it down pat. Re really super happy with it. Uh, we'll take a stock LS valve cover. We'll take your hot side system, your headers. So your headers will fit our cylinder heads packaging, flange angle, flange height, port height, everything is exactly the same. So all your hot side will still fit everything. All right. Uh, intake port wise, we're just finishing up and making sure that our intake manifold fits uh, uh, port because we're gonna actually put O-rings in the cylinder head and leave the intake manifold on its own. Um, we're not, uh, intake manifolds, uh, you'd have to do some modifications to make your manifold fit and you have to port match. So we're supplying it with billet in our billet intake manifold. So for turbo, for boost, uh, you know, any kind of boost application. Um, think about anything else here. Uh, that is about it. So it's going to take sta a standard LS7 valve train. Try and save some money there. Uh, trying to make parts easier to get. Uh, not trying to make one-off stuff that you, you know, the, in, the little trinkety stuff, you know, like a rocker arm, a rocker arm stand, a valve, a spring. There's no reason why, uh, you know, I don't need to be the only person that sells that for, for this. We're trying to make things so it's easily fixable, uh, not some custom one-off deal. No different than the SMX, where we don't want that thing to be a one-off. Uh, once it's broke, then you're screwed. That's not the way it is want it to be fixable and easily fixable just like what this is going to be for the sml so anyways i am uh ecstatic we're going to start putting the seats in it start putting the guides in it uh <clears throat> finish up the bolt holes put the hat washers in it then we'll go over to the block and we're going to start mocking this up and making sure everything fits everything's right waiting for the intake manifold uh to get here too and uh, be starting to assemble these and as soon as we are on the dyno obviously you're gonna be one of the first people that know. We'll do a cool build-up video of it, probably a time-lapse deal, and uh, to show you everything that's going on. Um, in case you didn't understand too, sorry. These are all covered by plates. So this, there's a plate that covers this, obviously a plate that covers this, same on the other side, and then individual plates for here. So just like the SMX, uh, no, they don't leak. No, there's not a problem with it. Um, bolted on, very secure. But anyways, as soon as we're all to the next step and uh, rock and rolling, I will for sure let you know. So stay tuned for more uh, super cool SML. All right, 
give you a little extra video here. So we came right over, we drilled out those head bolt holes like I said we needed to. And I said, I'm gonna go over here, mock it up on the engine and start working on the S on my block and so on ahead and make sure everything works. Fits, fits like a dream. But I wanted to show you this real quick. I thought, you know, what a great illustration of uh, cylinder head clamping force and what we're talking about, what I designed this whole thing for. This is your typical LS setup, okay? Doesn't matter if you use the 8740 studs or the 625 uh, stud, um, or we would normally and have do, or, you know, do these in a half inch conversion where it'll make the stud a little bit bigger. But you can see everything that's going on here. Now this particular engine, this does make 2000 horsepower. It will leak. In fact, it does have leaky gaskets all the time, even though we have copper and hoops and receiver grooves, the whole deal. Um, it just is the nature of the beast, okay? So I thought, what a great illustration. Let's show this. So that's what that is, stock. Let's come over here and take a look at the SML. Now that's a bunch of head studs. That is clamping force. Solid billet. No, no thinner than uh, one inch deck thickness here or in the cylinder head and block. The sleeves are in it now, you can see that. So this, it's actually, uh, the block is actually ready to go uh, and uh, honed. So actually the block is pretty much finished, but you can see uh, everything that's going on here and why this is such a superior setup to that. Anyways, I'm Steve Morris, Steve Morris Engine. See you later.